For our dinosaur, I've taken a 260 and inflated it, leaving about a three inch tail. We'll start, what I'll do is I'll give the very tip bend over about an inch or inch and a half and give it just a little squeeze to kind of shape it. And then while you're holding that, go down about another five inches or so. Twist it off and then squeeze again. And that will help your head hold its shape for later. Now we're gonna make some little legs, about an inch and a half. Another inch and a half bubble. Lock those together for his front legs. Now we're gonna make a bird body with about a three and a half inch bubble. So make one three and a half inch bubble. A second three and a half bubble. And then twist those to lock them in place. Now we're gonna need one more. Same size as those other two. And then roll that through. Just like that. Now we're gonna come back to the back and make his two back legs. Make them about the same size as the front legs, about an inch and a half. Another one. Twist those together to lock it. You can leave his tail like that. A lot of times I will take, twist a little small bubble on the back end, and then grab that and make that into a pinch twist. And what that does is forces his tail to stick out to the back. And you can shape it however you like it. And there you have a quick and simple dinosaur.